I'm going to tell you about a bad theory here and how, how um, this bad theory was disproven. Um, but this is the caloric model. Of course, the word calorie comes from, from caloric. And, and please don't write this down. This is, this is a, a, not an accepted hypothesis or theory anymore, right? But, but the idea was this, is that, that heat was this fluid. And things that were hot had a lot of this fluid, like caloric. And things that were cold didn't have much caloric in them. Um, and so if I heated a cup of coffee up, I would maybe heat it on a wood stove, right? And the wood stove would uh, uh, had a lot of caloric in it. And that's because uh, when, you, when you burned wood, of course, the wood released the caloric that, you know, that the, the wood was once a tree, you know. And the sunshine would shine on the tree. And everybody knows that sunshine had caloric in it somehow, right? It was this, you know, this, this fluid that you couldn't uh, uh, detect very easily, right? But sunshine had caloric in it. If you put something in the sun, uh, it would absorb the caloric and it would get hotter. Uh, and the tree would obviously store the caloric in it. And when you burned it, you know, you have a wood stove or something like that, right? Inside you've got a log and you've got a fire, right? And when you burned it, it would make it into ash. And, and anytime you made something finer, it would release the caloric. And that would heat up your little coffee pot, right? And then if I set the coffee pot uh, on the counter, right? If I set this on a table, right? If I set my coffee cup on the table and I pick it up later, I can feel that the table is a little bit warm, and that's because some of the caloric soaked into the table, just like uh, um, if you leave your wet swimsuit on your bed, right? It, it'll, leave, it'll leave a wet spot on your bed, and the longer you leave it there, the bigger the wet spot, right? We've all done that, haven't we, right? Okay, so uh, this guy, God, I can't remember his real name, but it, Count Rumford, I think he was like American, or, I don't know, there's an interesting story there that obviously I've forgotten, but... Uh, he noticed that uh, when they bored cannons, right, what they would do to, to make cannons out of brass is they would, they would cast them solid, and then they would bore out the place where the cannonball went, right? And uh, they'd take a drill bit, and, and the horses would go around and around and around, and they would spin this bit, and the bit would dig into the brass and bore out that, the place where the, the, the barrel, as it was, right? Okay, um, and to do this, of course, this generated tremendous amounts of heat. Uh, and you would have to, to immerse these things in water and you'd have to fill the buckets over and over again because it would just basically be boiling the water, right? Now, of course, the, what's really going on, and this is the kinetic theory, is that, that the, the actual contact of the bit with the metal is making those atoms vibrate and that's heat, right? But caloric explained it this way, right? If you, if you grind up the brass, as long as you're grinding up brass, the brass is getting finer, just like when you burn wood, the wood gets finer and, and uh, like, you know, right? And so it, it, um, it releases the caloric, right? Well, here's what this guy noticed, right? Both theories can predict that the, the boring out brass is gonna um, generate tons of heat, right? Okay, both theories are gonna predict that, but what Count Rumford noticed was that when the drill bits got dull and they quit grinding up brass and they quit release, they quit making the brass finer, it still got hot. In fact, a dull bit gets hotter than a, than a sharp bit, right? This makes no sense. If you're not grinding up the brass, how is it that if you just rub a dull bit on brass, how does that make heat? Well, kinetic theory has no problem with this, right? A dull bit still makes the surface molecules vibrate. Um, just like in uh, Karate Kid, you slap your hands together and rub it. It really does get warmer. Okay, so kinetic theory, of course, uh, is what we believe. We believe that hot Hot objects are where the molecules are moving fast, right? And cold objects, they are moving slow. Okay, so that's that's the basic idea, right? Um, and then what Joule did was, of course, make the equivalent, the heat equivalent of work. So it took us a long time to figure out that heat was another form of energy. That it wasn't some magic fluid, right? There was just a, a regular type of energy, like one half mv squared or mgh or one half kx squared, you could turn that into heat, right? Um, and this is the, you know, the calories that the chemists were doing. Remember, a calorie is, what is it? It's the heat needed to raise, is it one gram, one degree Celsius or something like that, right? Is 4.186 joules. So a kilocalorie, the amount to raise a kilogram, a degree Celsius is 4,186 joules. You'll see that number again in this chapter. Okay, here's the, um, 
Here's the basic idea with Joule, was that if you take a weight like this and you let the weight fall some distance, that MGH can become the, um, the heat absorbed, right? It can become the M cat, the Q equals MC delta T, right? Uh, but this, this is this M, and then that M would be the water, right? This would be the falling mass, and there we go, right? But the notion is that these paddles, as, as this weight falls, those paddles spin around. As they spin around, they hit water molecules. If you hit a water molecule, you're going to make it go faster, right? And faster moving water molecules is, is a higher temperature. So you could put a thermometer in this, and as you spun these things, it, it would make the water hotter, which means a fan in a closed room actually makes the air in the room hotter. Now, we, we of course, feel cooler because we've got sweat on our bodies. And unless it's 100% humidity, uh, uh, evaporating sweat also makes us cooler, right? Okay. This is like, I, I, I think this is, might be some of the um, original apparatus that, that uh, Joule actually used to, to um, do his experiment. Um, but it actually takes a lot of mechanical work to raise, well, you'll, you'll discover this later, to raise you know, a kilogram of water a degree um, Celsius.